Oh, that's a decent one. I'm gonna try a little bit deeper. Got one? Go one? What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Wednesday night tournament fishing episode. You guys probably know the drill by now. We have three hours to try to catch the five biggest bass that we possibly can. But before we get into the fishing, which this is going to be a good tournament, so stick around for that. We have to talk about today's video sponsor, Mystery Tackle Box. They have been with me for I don't even know how many years. They've been pumping out some of the best subscription service tackle boxes shipped directly to your doorstep for like the past eight years. So. If you guys have never checked them out, you can get your first box for $9.99. And I'll just show you guys some of the stuff that you might get in the box. Uh, this past month, I got the 13 Fishing Jabber Draw. This right here was $11.99. So that alone is going to pay for the box itself. $9.99 if you're a new member. Uh, this lure is worth $12. But you also get some hooks in there. You get some Cabin Creek Little Finesse Worms, which actually would have been killer on the lake that we're fishing in this video. Uh, we've got the Guggen Squad Hummer Buzz Bait, and then we've got some little Cream Lures Fluke Style Bait. So, all sorts of stuff. This box was worth like 20, 22 bucks, and like I said, you can get your first box for $9.99 using the code that's on the screen right now. So, if you guys are interested, it's going to be linked down below, and without further ado, let's get into the tournament fishing. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you're at the first spot of the day. And it sounds like we're going to start out with that little football jig. I think this one's actually a half ounce, which we're probably going to be fishing in 15 to 20 foot of water. Uh, Dan is going to start out with the drop shot. So he's going to be looking for those limit fish. We're going to try to get one or two big bites on this jig. And as always, we're looking for five bites. We need to get a limit. We only have three hours out here. So in these Wednesday nighters, catching five bass is very, very key. So first bite of the day, looking for the first bite. And uh, hopefully we get to stick a great big in on this jig. Got him. Got yeah, that one will be that one will be a possible small keeper. That was a freaking bite, Dan. Yeah. So Dan was just telling us, if you guys watched last video, we actually won the tournament. We had 16 pounds, too. We had a great day. The bites in the jig were so light. He came out here in practice this weekend. Yeah, small keeper, just over the line. And he said that they were killing it, and that one absolutely crushed it. <laughs> Very, very, very distinct bite and just a small little 14 inch bass. But we're about five minutes into the day and we got the first keeper in the box, so we're not gonna complain. This lake, if we could catch a limit with one or two solid two, two and a half pounders, we're gonna be sitting pretty. Fish number one in the box. Oh, yeah. Hopefully that's right on the edge, that's what I'm aiming for. Yep. That one's just on the drop, it feels small. Look at all that bait busting. She's coming right at the boat. Oh yeah. She might go. It's another line burner possibly. I think this one's just kind of fat though, she's probably like a 13. They're eating the jig, Dan. Yeah, Carolina rig jig. I think this one's a short stocky one actually. Oh boy. This one probably weighs more than that last one. Look at that gut, dude. Dang. Yeah, she's a 13 and a quarter. I'm gonna try a little bit deeper. Got one? Good one? Get him in here. I think that one might go. It's another chunky one. The chunky ones throw it off because they look bigger than they are, I feel like. She might go though, that's gotta go. Come on. Keeper number two. You might have the keeper side over here. All the shorts might be on this side. Yep, keeper. Another like 14 and a quarter. Not a big one, but two in the box. 15 minutes maybe into the derby. Dan switched over to that jig. Was that your first cast of the jig? Yes, they're on the jig tonight, boys. He was throwing a crankbait, Carolina rig, drop shot trying some other stuff and we caught like three shorts or four shorts and a keeper on a jig so switched up second keeper in the box just like that It's 
small. Small. Smally. Small mall bass, dude. <laughs> hey, he might be. Yeah, he's a long one. I'll put him on there. He's not fighting at all. He's kind of got a derp face. Look at his. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you, dude, if he's like off by like a quarter inch or something, yeah, because of his face. <laughs> look at his dumb face. Oh no, he's a keeper. Yeah. Even with this dirt face, dude. Oh gosh. Gosh, I didn't even like say anything to the camera because that one felt so small. But luckily, that one's still a keeper. Even though, look at the thing's freaking dumb little nose. What a weird looking smallie. Little pounder though. Third fish in the box. We're 37 minutes into the tournament right now. And we got three little guys. Might have to start considering making a move because everything that we're catching over here is just barely keepers. But if we could pull off two more quick keepers, then we could have a limit in the box and go hog hunting for the rest of the day. So that's probably going to be kind of the goal right here. Oh, that's a decent one. Coming in. That should be fish number four, I think, right there, Dan. Yeah, we're going to catch a quick limit right here, guys. Get number five here, hopefully. That's definitely our longest one. I don't know if she weighs the most, but yeah, that's like a, probably a 15. Oh yeah, 15 and a quarter incher right there. Really skinny post-spawn fish though. You're just talking about catching a big old four pounder. Surely is not a four pounder, but we'll take her. Fish number four. I am assuming that that one's the heaviest, so I'll put her on the bigger side. Just cause she is like a whole inch bigger than everything else we got. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. Decent? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fish number five. Yes, Dan. Okay, well, we're gonna stay here for at least a second longer, I think. <laughs> we're just <laughs> talking about making some moves, and I think that Dan just caught probably our biggest one of the night. Another, like, probably 15 incher, but look at how fat that thing is. Definitely our heaviest fish. Tag on her. Like, I can't go right. Yeah, we've got to go pick that apart a little bit more before we think about making a move, I guess. But we got the limit in the box. That is goal number one, always. Always catch five fish. Now we need to catch four more like the ones that Dan just caught right there. And we'll be sitting pretty. Or one random three to four pounder. That one might help right there. That was up shallow. Chunky one. If she goes 14, she'll probably get rid of that small now. She goes pretty easy. Okay, so this might be a cola actually, guys. That one was up in about five foot of water. Gonna have to do some master culling with our little balance beam here. We got four smaller ones and then we got our two bigger ones. So we gotta see which out of these is gonna be the one to go. Oh yeah, small he's going for sure. Okay. This little derpy dude's going back in. And this one? <laughs> little smally. She's definitely the littlest. That was actually not a bad call, Dan. Cause that smallmouth weighed nothing. <laughs> Yeah. She's not very fat, but she's like a quarter inch bigger than some of the ones we got. Yeah, it was right to the left. We, were, we, we kind of pulled up a little hot, hard on it, I think. But we were in the right spot, though. Oh, yeah. She ain't helping. She ain't helping. 14 and a half inch skinny one. In just because I didn't have a trailer, so I just like pulled back behind all the boats basically. Huh? 
Huh? In front of my truck there. Was there? No, I wasn't. I wasn't. Uh -oh. oh no. I felt like a damn digging. Come in. Honestly, it ain't that bad. This <laughs> this one might help. It is about a 14, 14 and a half incher, and she's not skinny. It, she might actually help. Might be a little cold for us. I really don't know. Yellow is the one I just caught. Oh yeah, yellow is definitely helping. Bigger than red. Cool. Blue is bigger than red. All right. That's a coal, dude. That's a little last last second coal. Yeah, she's kind of fat. She's kind of fat and 14 and a half, 14 and three quarter inches. I know. I actually, I even went to boat flipper and she just like hit the side of the boat because she was heavier than I thought. I was like, oh, okay. All right, let's go see how we end up. See if that little last minute coal was the difference or not. I boat flipped that fish like a freaking idiot. Probably gave us a quarter pound coal though, so we're gonna see what happens. I don't think that last one I had would've done much. No, I don't think it would've done anything. Seven forty-three. Fourth place with seven forty-three. Dan and Bill. 